right, I'm gonna fill in the back end of the horse a little bit more with some more uh, aluminum foil. Because there's quite a big, big area here that I gotta fill up. Somebody suggested I get a, a glue gun, and I gotta agree that's a good idea. It doesn't help me right now, maybe in the future. Also, I got an email this morning from the uh, person whose husband puts these, uh, makes these armatures, and he saw that I was having trouble bending the leg, and it's because he has the uh, the joints just a little too close and there's not enough play there to, to be able to bend it easily so he's gonna uh, adjust that so that it'll be easier for people in the future to uh, bend the legs you'll have a, a more space between the joints there's a wire that goes down and connects this bone with this bone and uh, that'll make it a lot easier to uh, adjust the uh, leg position so some good is coming from these videos and uh, that's a good thing um, I'm gonna start working on the, the other side of the, uh, the rear of the horse and uh, get that as far as I can I'm getting like I said I'm getting here late I've only got an hour to work and so I'm gonna have to really bust my tail and get this going also I had to turn the heat on because it is cold in my studio. It got down below 30 last night. And so the uh, temperature is a bit low in here. And uh, the clay is having a hard time softening up. So I'm dealing with late getting in and uh, having to um, wait for my, the heat to build up in the studio. I bought a Hero GoPro Hero 12 and uh, yesterday was the first time I used it. I noticed one thing that's different. The field of view is a lot wider and uh, I don't have the fisheye effect because I set the camera to linear which takes, you know, takes care of that uh, uh, wide angle fisheye look but it covers more area and so I'm included in a lot of these shots and I'm trying to keep myself out of it because I don't want my head or my hat to be in the way so I'm learning how to use my camera I gotta add a little more aluminum foil. Right now I wish I had that glue gun. I'll just use the next best thing, which is screws <laughs> to get everything in place. amazing how much clay you use on something like this. I'm going 
going by a photograph I've got of a Mustang with his leg in this position. By filling the belly of the horse with aluminum foil, I probably saved myself a good five pounds of clay. But this is a clay eater, something this size. And uh, he's eating up my clay like nobody's business. By the way, you can get these armatures at uh, SculptureDepot.net. I cut myself on that uh, wire. <laughs> if you're a sculptor and you don't shed blood once in a while, you're not doing it right. I've got a practice I do in the wintertime in my studio, and that's coming down and turning on the uh, heat before I come into the studio so that my uh, clay will be ready for me. And I didn't do that today because I didn't expect it to be this cold. So I guess I'm going to have to start coming down in the morning and turning the heat on.
going to have to call it quits for today. And I'll see you guys next week. Like I said, I've got to take off tomorrow. And I take off Fridays anyway. So I'll be back uh, Monday and uh, hopefully get the uh, front shoulders and the uh, front legs sketched in and ready to go. What I'm trying to do is get the horse as much as close to being done as I can before I put the figure of the woman on the horse. But uh, that's going to come probably towards the end of next week. Probably. I don't know. Can't make promises I can't keep. <laughs> so, anyway. It does help to have a a good armature, and that's uh, a good armature on this one. All right, everybody have a great weekend, and uh, I'll see you next week. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.